Elias Hayek, hello. Hello. Nice to have you here with us. Uh, you're the president of ACC, uh, the Association of Corporate Council, uh, and you are also uh, vice president uh, legal for Starwood Hotels and Resort in Europe, uh, Africa, and the uh, Middle East, of that course. That is correct, yes. Um, could you tell us a word about ACC, your uh, association? Sure. The Association of Corporate Council is an association uh, originally based in the United States, it has over 35,000 members, recently after a combination with the Chinese uh, Association of Council. So it's a worldwide association? It is worldwide, yes. It operates in 85 countries. And its primary objective is to create a platform for in-house lawyers, meaning lawyers that practice exclusively for corporations. Mm. Like yourself, like in myself, a big uh, hotel company. That is correct. For us to have an opportunity to first interface with our colleagues who might be similarly situated mm -hmm. at other um, uh, corporations, either in a jurisdiction or in nearby jurisdictions, to be able to network, to share resources, uh, to participate in educational events, um, to um, share precedent in terms of materials, uh, for example. If uh, I'm looking to uh, work on a specific project that requires a template contract or uh, some knowledge about the application of the law in, uh, let's say, uh, one jurisdiction or another, I might be able to turn to the resources of the ACC to find some precedent or to find some assistance. Of course. And I guess you've got many questions by newcomers in the area here because uh, it's quite a different system, especially if you're coming from Europe or the States. Uh, you have to learn um, within, uh, to, to, to work within these uh, different law systems. So what uh, would be your main recommendation? This is an excellent observation on your part. The, the association is a, a great opportunity for newcomers to quickly uh, identify other people in the community who can assist them uh, in doing the task that they've been uh, sent here by their companies to do. As you know, many people in, uh, in Dubai and also in the region, they are expatriates um, practicing for companies that have sent them on temporary assignments to carry out a function or a duty. And in the practice of law, many of them are lawyers who, who have experience in a different jurisdiction, be it uh, common law or civil law, mm -hmm. who are finding a new environment where they are being required to uh, understand very quickly the differences of operating in this environment versus the way they are used to operating in their own uh, jurisdiction. And so the ACC is an opportunity for them to uh, very quickly identify some of the advantages and also risks of operating by networking with other people. And what would you be your main advice? Um, for a newcomer um, beside uh, coding ACC, of yeah. course. Well, I think the, the first thing is to not assume that your uh, previous experience is relevant entirely. I mean, obviously it's relevant. Some of it, Some of it is relevant. <laughs> but it won't all be relevant, yeah. and you can't assume that uh, the application of the solutions that you have previously managed will be applicable um, it, when you are practicing in a foreign jurisdiction like this. So uh, don't assume that that's, that's my first, first rule. <laughs> okay. Yes. One last uh, question, <coughs> if I may, Elias. Um, how would you describe the business uh, dynamism uh, here in the region after the, the difficulties or the crisis of uh, 2008? Well, I work in the tourism sector, uh, so I can only speak from my experience in my sector, and I can tell you that we have been experiencing a resurgence. Uh, there's been a lot of activity, obviously, uh, thanks to the government and to His Highness. There's been a lot of uh, effort to advance um, uh, various uh, activities like the Dubai 2020 and the Expo, and, and uh, in the region, if you look at uh, what's going on in Qatar with the World Cup and so mm -hmm. on. So. Uh, we've got a lot of focus on the region in the coming five to uh, seven years, seven years. Mm -hmm. and there's been a lot of uh, activity as a result. So in my sector, we're seeing a lot of forward-looking activity anticipating these events. Is it uh, booming the same way business-wise as it was uh, before this uh, crisis of 2008? Um, it is different. I think people are a little bit more 
cautious. Mm. Um, companies are, uh, are b b on both sides, we are more cautious with the people we want to do business with. So we are being more uh, specific about who our counterparts, who our business partners will be, uh, their, uh, their capacity to execute, uh, and their uh, relationship to our brands. And they are being very careful about what the expectations will be in terms of deliverables and so on. So everybody's a little more careful, uh, and I think that's a good thing. And this is why we need corporate councils like yes. you so yes. <laughs> and your <laughs> colleagues. Yes. Uh, I think the role of the, of the in-house lawyer is, is as an advisor with a specific skill uh, that can advise the executive team, who are also experts in their own relative fields, mm -hmm to be able to anticipate issues from a legal perspective that the other participants in the executive committee or in that team would not have any reason or any knowledge or any experience about anticipating. So it's just a, an additional perspective to direct that group that is attempting to resolve a business issue to make sure that it has addressed also any legal issues adequately. Thank you very much, Elias. Thank you, thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.